What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included, Season 3, and we are at the rocket stations. They're very busy, uh, and we're about to launch at least one. So, would we like to go and investigate the ocean... Ocean... What do you want to call it? Ocean platform thing. Yeah. Ocean asteroid. Yes, we would. So, let's get that rocket launched off. And a bon voyage to you. And then, of course, when we arrive, we're going to have to do some very quick work. Now, of course, all we really need is to build a rocket platform to allow the rocket to land. Then the duplicate is safe to do whatever they need to do quickly to then leave again. But we're going to send over the resources by using the interplanetary gun thing. Bon voyage, and off they go. The left rocket there is also ready to launch. I really do need to do some of this heat management, mainly just to keep it from not touching any of them stationary buildings. I only want it to touch the rocket platform stairs or other rockets, the rest of the place. But I could just chuck up a... What do you call it? A um, insulated wall, maybe, would work. We'll see. In order to get the interplanetary launcher to work, we, of course, need to provide it with some resources. The resources, well, all we need to send over, really, is, is refined metal. Uh, tungsten or iron, but I'm going to send tungsten, because that's what we've got the most of. So to do that, I've just chucked a quick rail up. I could have made it shorter, I suppose, technically. It doesn't matter. Quick rail from there, um, and then they will load in whatever I asked them to in that conveyor belt loader. That will go up, and it will fire said resources to the destination planet, which is already set. Destination asteroid. Um, using the rad bolts as fuel. Now, it does use it pretty quick, um, which is why I need to significantly increase that if I want to use it to be, if I want to make that useful in the future. Um, but for now, it's certainly enough. 200 rad bolts is enough to send probably four or five capsules, I think. As soon as it stops, it is automated. So as soon as it starts to empty, uh, the automation will kick in and it will turn on the generators again to start making more rad bolts. Keeping it running, by the way, I don't know if you've seen it, but it does actually just leave like a radioactive goo on the floor, which is a really bad idea. So you want it to turn off. Because if it fires the rad bolts at the storage of the machine and it's full, it will just splat them on the floor. And it, yeah, like I say, it leaves the goo behind, which is no good to anyone. The lag in place is because I have asked everybody to bring over some refined metals for this ASAP. And that is what they're doing. Um, but all of the people pathing now, which we have over 30, 32 in fact. Um, well, 31 because one of them's in that shuttle. It's a bit busy, so we'll get them to do that. And as soon as it gets into the interplanet interplanetary launcher, it will fire them off. They should get there quicker than the rocket, I believe. And also to add to this setup while we're doing it is we need the mission control desk. Um, specifically, that will increase the speed and there it is mission control station that will increase the speed as long as it's got line of sight and powered uh, it will increase the speed of rockets by 20 percent which is significant right if you're traveling for five cycles five days uh, it will save you a whole day so it, it's worth it um, and all in all the quicker you build it the more amount of time it's going to save you if you build it at the end it won't the goods there are going up you can see them loading in and boom 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 it fired was that three and then it now lays down and has a rest because it now needs to charge up with rad bolts again and they have turned on. They are only using the rad bolts from space though. The radiation from space is all they're being powered by, nothing else, which is why they're a little bit slow. Easily fixable, easily increasable, and even the wheeze warts are better than that. Uh, maybe a massive field of wheeze warts might work for us, we'll see. But for now, uh, it's going to work because we've still got other things to do and we're not that far ahead. Plus, getting over to the ocean biome, ocean world, uh, is only a stopgap to hopefully just get a platform built. We don't actually need the water yet, so I'm not going to put time into it. But there you can see I missed a step. The bathroom isn't completed. 
and the oxygen isn't completed. This rocket is a dud. And this is why you shouldn't build too many rockets unless you're good at multitasking. Yes, I have sent this guy off into space in a rocket that has no oxygen and nothing for him to survive. So basically, I've sent him off in a coffin. I'm, I'm good at this game, honest. Um, so immediately, I'm going to turn the rocket round in the hope that he will survive long enough to make it home. Unfortunately, uh, he's not going to survive like that, so I need him to desperately put his Atmo suit back on. I can't really sugarcoat this. It's not looking good. The blue line there, as you know, if you don't, that is the oxygen. The purple line is his health. Um, obviously, the purple line's not going down up until he runs out of oxygen. Then that goes down and they and they, they suffocate. Uh, will it... Will the land now? Even if he lands in time, he's then got to get out of the rocket into that transit tube loader and then fly all the way over to where the Atmo suit docking station is and then get undocked to get oxygen. Um, I might have killed another duplicate here. I would say it's not my fault, but, but it is. And this is why I'm going to reduce the amount of rockets I'm using at once. I think two is enough. Especially when I'm not actually sending them specifically anywhere. And effectively what's happening is that I'm not stocking them up because I'm getting a bit confused with which one I've done and which one I haven't done. Until we can plumb in some automations, it's dangerous to think of anything else. And as you can see, I am already ripping that one down. I'm sorry for Travoldo. But it seems like you're crap out of luck without a spade. Uh, there is no more oxygen left in the Atmo suit. There is no oxygen left in the capsule. There is polluted oxygen, but nowhere near enough. That's micrograms. Nowhere near enough for them to breathe, unfortunately. I am desperately trying to think of something I can do. If there was something I can do, please let me know in the comments. He's at least a, a, a quarter of a cycle away from home. It is not going to happen. So, rest in peace, Travoldo. Another one bites the dust, but a bum, bum, bum. Um, yeah, so the rocket's still going to come back and land, uh, but with a corpse. We'll have to get that buried, and yeah. My bad. Just finish off ripping, in, ripping the rocket down there on that left, as I said. It's a bit annoying. You have to do it, and then each time it resets. So, And there comes the rocket with the Travoldo's remains on. At least we can get him back and get him buried, though, right? Better than nothing. Now, in future, I will make sure to do less rockets and micromanage them a bit better. This is working in place with a glass ceiling, though I expect that when it... When we get a meteor shower, it's probably going to smash it to pieces, but we'll have to wait and see on that. We're out of power because we're basically running too much power here. More power than we could ever need. Uh, you did notice a jump there. That was just jumping ahead for one of the videos. But the rockets themselves have been ripped down and rebuilt. The second attempt on getting to the water planet has been launched. Uh, same principle, but obviously I put oxygen in it, which is always useful when you need to breathe said oxygen. Uh, and then we're just building another rocket for... I can't remember what it's called. Trailblazer, I think, is the, is the term it's called. And that allows you to land without a platform. We have to have that. So that we... Can then get down there to have somebody to build... The platform now you can do it with rovers but i'm pretty sure rovers can't build rocket platforms and if they can they're a bit crap they can't build other stuff so i'm going to use a person or a duplicate um they will then drop down they will build the platform because there'll be plenty of refined metals there we've already sent some over and there is some on the rocket that i've sent as well in a cargo they will just have to drop down hopefully in the short amount of time they've got in their atmos suit they will use them resources, unpack the resources, build the rocket platform. The rocket can then land. They will then need to build ladders up to the rocket capsule. They can then get in there and they are then safe. Pretty much after that, they can immediately fly home because there's nothing more for them to do there at the minute. We don't need the, the liquid anytime soon. 
I'm just happy that we've found it and I'm competent now and confident that we are good for oxygen for a very long time. So oxygen not included, my arse. We have loads. And from that, we can now go for the next mission, which really, after we've got a rocket platform set up on the water base, we need to do a similar sort of thing over at that volcanic asteroid, which is going to provide us with some of that neodymium, whatever it's called, stuff. Uh, and then in between there, we still need to look at the second asteroid that we teleport to and figure out what on earth is going on with the carbon dioxide, if anything, and check if it's getting better or worse. If it's getting worse, or even if it stayed the same, I'm probably going to blow a cap in the top to allow it to vent off into the void of space. Leave it a few cycles to empty out and then go back where it's much safer. With resources, knowing that they can build gas masks at the minimum or atmos suits if i can really be bothered that one sounds a bit tedious but it helps right and they'll do a lot more digging if they can breathe so with them continuing to clear out the top i am going to indeed extend some tiles out these are just normal tiles for now um just to help cap the basically the asteroid off with space once that's done, I will then replace it for bunker tiles so that the meteors can't do any damage. Now, I am going to be building certainly the right-hand side of the rockets. That's where I want to put the farms up to there from the base. So I do need to get that infrastructure in place to make sure that there's no vacuum of space involved and that I'm not going to be losing my crops to the infin infinity of space. Um, this guy actually has some food he can eat now proper food so surf and turf we're going to get that up to him surf and turf obviously i've had some pakus which are the fish uh collected from somewhere or they've died somewhere and we've had managed to have the meat there because i am not farming them so that was an accident but you have to give him three gourmet meals to complete that part of the quest he's already got the the decor as you can see all of that decor behind him uh, the biobot there delivering his snack. He goes in and munches on that. Boom, that's done. And now we're going to send him up some fancy bread. And a little while later, here they come. And that should be... There we go. Yeah, so that's unlocked him now. Gone over to that completing of that quest. It gives us that toolbox as a reward. And we are able to keep these buildings. The big building can be used for storage. I'm not interested in that. I'm going to dismantle everything, rip down all of the artwork, statues, wallpapers, and then it opens up this area to then do a bit better of a sorting system for all the liquids because at the minute it's a bit of a mess because he was in the way. Also, I can put the uh, heavy watt cable in the right place as well. Immediately, the sweepers kick in and clear up all the mess. Having them about is fabulous as long as they don't make things worse. Uh, as these things get destroyed, the gold and reed fiber will be collected and put back in storage. This one's looking better, making sure that all of the buildings are incorporated, including a toilet, which is useful. Though it's not life and death, they can just do it on the floor and it won't kill them. It will make them upset, but it won't kill them. But making sure there is liquid in here and there is gas in here are what's critical that I somehow forgot because, yeah, I'm a noob. You can see there, there is a gas pipes, not anything in there yet because right at the bottom there you saw there was a gap and that's why the last one failed because that one piece of pipe there stopped the oxygen from getting in. The liquid is full, the sink is full, the toilet is full, and the pipe is full, so we're good there. We just need to get this one piece of gas pipe in. Then we should start to see the flow of oxygen in there as well. That's better. So now this is in. We just need to give it a bit of time. Obviously, that's going to go all the way through to the vent, then vent out, fill up the capsule. When the capsule gets full, it will start backing up. Now, at that point, you've got more than enough, to be honest, but... We'll see how it goes. And then we just need to get them sent over. This is the ocean asteroid, the water biome. You can see all of them capsules there are full of tungsten. They're scattered everywhere, including underwater as well. There's a lot more than just them three you can see there. I must have sent about 10 tons over at least at this point. 
Uh, just to make sure there's more than enough. Also, I can only use it if I can reach it and undock it or unload it. So all the ones that are deep down in the water, I can't get to. So they're no use to me at this time. Rocket's traveling on its merry way. He's happy. Max there in his very comfy bed. They are very snazzy, but I am still looking for a mod to give me a bigger option to do like a hotel, a flying hotel size thing. With that shuttle in space or in orbit, as it says, of course, that is waiting now for me to pull the trigger on the cargo module. All of them there are even more of the tungsten. Now, this guy is not meant to land. He doesn't have the trailblazer attachment. That was just sending over to deliver even more refined metals to make sure that there is no issues with refined metals on the planet as we speak. So, Max, now you can see there's a lot more there. There was three before. There's a lot more there now. He can now travel back home. And the next rocket, which has just been finished off, as you saw, with the oxygen, uh, then can make its way here with the trailblazer. Land, build the platform land the rocket and then go back home and then this plat this asteroid is ready to be colonized if and when we need a lot more water so we have the main rocket almost ready to launch with the astronaut hopefully on their way sometime soon everything's pretty much ready to go again it's not a major accomplishment to get over there but just having the asteroid with a platform ready in the future is a step forward for me as long as no one dies again um, they're still working on the floor it will take them a while it's not set for high priority i think it's set for seven or so most things i ask them to do are more around eight or nine so that's the difference oxygen wise you can see we've got a plenty coming in the whole process is doing what it's supposed to do. I don't see any issues with anybody struggling for oxygen at the minute. And of course, the Atmos suits are running nicely as well. Though I will probably build a giant room for them as well so that they just have too much oxygen. With the amount of water we've got, I don't see why I wouldn't do that. Even the backup, backup tanks are now filling. So that means that we're still not using the water that we're actually gaining. So I would call that a success. This guy's still running along. We're getting the biobots produced steadily. No, no major issues. Obviously, the, the 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 carbon dioxide is used up. So just a constant cycle like that will not work forever. Uh, you will need to get oxygen to top it up every now and again. It can be easily automated. Just for my setup, it is quite far away. I might actually look at seeing if I can use the move it tool and put it somewhere more practical because at the minute it's a bit awkward. Uh, I don't know why he's just steering into space. But yeah, so it does work in terms of the... It's 100% efficient for the... Wow, that's a lot of zombie spores. I don't know how they escaped. Um, but I'm not too worried because they're all wearing Atmos suits anyway. So... If I feel like it, I could just open up one of the chlorine tanks and blast the whole area outside of the base to make it so it's always basically clean and free from anything and everything. So the oxygen is done now for this and I'm just breaking that pipe there to send up the fuel. 450 kilos of fuel. Of course, that's not what's required to get there, uh, but it is required what's... To to get there and back safely the oxidizer is obviously full as well battery solar panels and everything's good to go so this time we're going to the water asteroid and we are indeed um ready you can see the fuel going in now as we speak and the lights are on and the steam or smoke whatever you want to call that is ready to go so we can click launch and off they go to the water planet to do what we need them to do set up the infrastructure and then come back safely without any issues bar he yes you again um everything's free to you you can come out you've got everything you need water food comfy bed what more could you need we are at time so i am going to end the episode here so come back in the next episode to see what what happens to the adventures of ben he
<laughs> ban he. However you say that. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. As always, take care. Goodbye.